some nasty rumors going on around about Marvel right about now. Is Marvel writing itself into a corner? Let's get into it. That's right, we're here to talk about some of the controversies that Marvel is doing to itself. I am the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And before we move along, just a reminder. If you like what we do here, like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. But right now, we're going to get into the Marvel problem. There's been many problems, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you've seen several of the last Marvel movies. Maybe you really liked Guardians because it was written by James Gunn. Maybe you were apprehensive and didn't actually go see it because, you know, you saw Black Widow or Quantumania or any of the other horribly written Marvel movies. Well, it appears that there's a bigger problem afoot. Think about She-Hulk and how terrible that was and how the writing room was a disaster. Well, it looks like there's another show that's going to be greenlit, which I would have told you never would have made it to air. But we're going to talk a little bit about Echo, the show that no one asked for. Like a sub-D level character from the Marvel stable. We're talking like F-level character here that's going to cross over with Daredevil. It's the only reason why anyone might even tune into this because Daredevil and um, Big Poppy himself, the Kingpin's going to be in this. So you have Vincent D'Onofrio showing up. Those are the only reasons why I could think anyone would watch would watch the show. Apparently, Kevin Feige agrees. He This is just a rumor, allegedly, that Kevin Feige reported that Echo was unreleasable before reshoots. And this is not the first time we've heard this. We've also heard this about the Marvels. So this is costing them a ton of money. They really shouldn't do this. But this was, this was on the latest episode of Hot Mike Podcast, where sources say that there were many issues that Echo faced. It was plagued by issues during its production, and that... Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige was not happy with things at all. I heard the show was kind of plagued by issues throughout production, said Snyder. I heard that it was a mess, that the show came in so bad that they basically had to reshoot the entire thing. I'm told that they originally shot eight episodes, and then Kevin Feige thought it was unreleasable. So they talked about cutting it down to four episodes or six in post but then they ended up reshooting it. So my source did not actually know how many episodes they wound up with. But yeah, apparently needed a top-down rejiggering. And that Kevin was not happy with it. This is just bananas. They would, And, and there's also a, a surprise announcement that they're releasing all of Ep- Echo's episodes all at once when, a season, when the series premieres on November 29th, 2023. It is not how Disney Plus operates. Are they just trying to chuck this thing down? This is bad. This is real bad. And apparently, Matt Murdock, you know, we we talked about this, would be back. But I cannot... this 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 is ridiculous. They didn't even explain this. First of all, Echo's only appearance so far was in the Hawkeye show, which not that many people watched. Uh, Echo, the adoptive daughter of Kingpin, is a deaf Native American woman who possesses the ability to perfectly copy other people's movements while also being capable, highly capable martial artist and acrobat. They forgot to mention that she was handy capable. She's apparently missing a leg, which I remember because uh, something that Hawkeye does and tries to break her leg and finds out it's a f- fake leg or she hits him with, I forget, something. So how dare you, bigot? <laughs> you forgot, Anthony Nash. How dare you? Anyway, just to give you some context, the writer's room was is supposedly composed with some people who know what they're doing. Daredevil, The Punisher, Supernatural, Stranger Things. Daredevil Season 2, eh, kind of a little bit of a half... Column A, column B. Um, let's see. This is this is before. So Marion Dyer is the lead writer for Echo. Super exciting. I'm just kidding. But it looks like uh, it's got a whole boatload of people here. All Native American writers. I mean, sure. 
whatever. Let's see what this this lead writer. What, I don't remember if she has any credentials, but better call Saul writer. I don't I don't know how they could turn yet. Yeah, she's a deaf amputee. See these these people remembered what they were supposed to say. Lead writer, better call Saul veteran. I don't know. It seems like they brought a lot of writers in on this, but if they're turning in something that was un releasable i would assume it starts in the writer's room where it was bad this leads me to point number two which would be the kang dynasty so your lead avengers movie which is already in trouble because of jonathan majors his own issues but the kang dynasty reportedly removes writer jeff loveness jeff loveness wrote ant-man and the wasp quantum mania while not a terrible movie and it can't be pinned on him um it's not a good movie. It's not a bad movie. It's pretty mediocre, and, and the CGI is pretty bad, and that's not on him. But there was quite a few plot holes. I, I wouldn't say it was an enjoyable movie. Like People aren't jumping up and down. In fact, I can barely remember what happened in it. So here you've got Jeff Loveness getting booted off the Avengers movie. I heard he was going to move on the next one, and this was all made before the writer's strike. So it's unconfirmed, but this is not the first place that we've heard this. And they're probably going to have to rewrite the whole thing. Uh, he got a lot of criticism for his scripts. And this just, if you look at the, the writing in everything, it's just terrible now. They hired all these people. They tried to get them on the cheap. They didn't have a lot of credits. Jeff Loveness was from Rick and Morty. So was uh, the girl who wrote um, She-Hulk, also from the cast of Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty clearly dove in in quality over the past couple of years. And, you know, these people just you can't write a TV show and then give them a $250 million budget and say, write me a movie. It just it doesn't seem to work that way. So let's look at what does Jeff Loveness do? What he he was a comic book writer and an actor. He apparently was uh, a writer for the Jimmy Kimmel live show. Hilarious. Hilarious. Apparently, they're also trying to, someone's trying to pin him down, pin him, a leak being on him. Um, he says he was not the leak, and that's the why, reason why they're removing it from removing him from it, but I don't believe it. I just think there's a writing problem, and you've got these like writers who just don't have any, it's the same thing that Marvel did with their directors. They thought they could plug in cheap directors and just plug and play. They have the operation. Think of it like a big Marvel machine, right? You have the machine. They already have the action sequences plotted out, like Black Widow. The director's really only coming in to do some of the dialogue scenes. In fact, the action scenes are already filmed before they even get there. The plot is already contrived by Marvel. They already say, here's the kind of generic plot that we want. We, this is how we want it to connect to the bigger universe. Here, writers, go ahead and plug in some jokes. Take off of, you know, take a TD's model and plug in jokes. And here, it just, it's not working anymore. Thor Love and Thunder was terrible, and Taika Waititi barely seemed interested in doing the project. So I think it's a big problem. I think it's something that they need to correct, you know, and here they thought they would correct it with bringing in Sam Raimi, and Sam Raimi wasn't good enough to save Doctor Strange. You know, Doctor Strange was decent, but... And then here they lose James Gunn, who makes perhaps one of the best movies of the past phases, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. So in the past like five or six films they've released, and almost all of the TV shows have been absolutely dreadful, all poorly written. So it's a problem. They're writing themselves into a corner. What do you guys think? Do you think that they're going to be able to fix this problem? Should they hire di different writers, better writers, Hollywood veterans? With the writing strike, I don't. they're not going to hire anybody, so... This just seems like it's going to get bigger and worse. Are you excited about Echo? Do you even want to see Avengers the Kang Dynasty when we was Kangs? <laughs> like what? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for checking us out. We appreciate it. We also have a full audio podcast that you can listen to, download for free. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places. We live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join us. Join the party. and. You can rumble us, bumble us, you know where I'm rumble that other place. But for now, we appreciate you, but I am out to the next one.